waiting on uh, Felix because he was in the in the slow lane in security. Uh, going layover JFK, JFK. Vamos a Milan. Milan, baby. Felix. Felix. <laughs> Felix. What's up? We're going to JFK Airport and then we're going to Milan and then from there we're going to uh, Turin in Italy. So yeah, big big trip today. All I wanna get is a little bit closer. Sleep not even 30 minutes on the flight. And I saw he was stuck in the back Una selfie? Good place to settle in to the trip. It's making me hungry. Pizza. <laughs> pizza today? Pasta? Pizza? Pizza. I accept. It's okay with you? Yeah. Good. Just wanted to double check, you know. She, she. Arriving here, very welcoming, you know. We feel like we're being greeting with greeted with open arms. Welcome to Nizza Monferrato. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice wife. to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Felix. Nice We're all a bit tired, but it's, it's man, so we, just looking uh, around here is, it's unbelievable. It's, I think it's what we really love with Italy, you know, it's just everything oh, yeah. is, everything is like really old school. Everything is, has a lot of history and tradition. And, yeah, it's cool. Freaking mosquito. Yes, fully fixed. Okay. Early fixed. So, you have Pato and Felix here. Wanna have a. Oh, Just go out and do some labor. Help out with the wine. How pretty. Yeah, it's really nice. It's, isn't it? It's so small. Yes, can you imagine? Can it's you still imagine four five, seats. Five people, five people traveling yeah. the entire Italy with it. So crazy. It's from Turin. Yeah. So you, you are in the place where it was born. Yeah. Please call me back. Man, this, man, this is like perfect for me. Besides. <laughs> but it's actually pretty like... You know, this car is the same age of Sparco. This was homologated in 77, 1977, yeah. which was the year of birth of the of Sparco company. Right now? Okay. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Belly! <laughs> it's better, I think. Man, it's actually pretty like it's yeah, pretty good. Aha! Oh. Ah. Oh, oh, man, I see stars. What? I see stars. Why? Because I'm like span I went oh. upside down. Oh the water is nice. Cool. Pretty fresh. That is that is the picture. I'll be chilling. The pool dip. Uh, yeah, kind of got you back to back to life a little bit. 
think we're all like fighting jet lag and different caffeine uh, highs and lows. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of hard to complain, man. It's one of the best views we've seen in a while. We're gonna have matching uh, tiger suits with Felix. <laughs> Felix is pretty good at the games. I don't game a lot. Last time I probably sat in a game was I racing last year. Give me a five. I like five, man. Yes. I don't know this track, so I'm gonna have to play a little bit of catch up. Say, eccoli tutti i semafori accesi per il secondo round fuoco agli scarichi dei carta 125 che partono adesso. Buona la partenza di Rosenbist, attenzione anche alla seconda posizione è occupata dalla carta in questo momento di Signalis che sta provando a interpretare una traiettoria interna con Enucita che va a prendere la seconda posizione, occhio anche ad Antonio Giovinazzi che riesce a bucare a prendere la terza posizione adesso, la gara è tutto un altro discorso, la qualifica è un giro pulito, la gara sono sportellate, bagarre, gestione della qui se la siete sparto, bravissimo su Giovinazzi e già parla Signalis in quarta posizione, portiamo pulito e gli applausi di chi? At least we want something. Mate, I don't know what you're doing. I'm three seconds. Three and I can't get better. Back for day number two at Sparkle headquarters. We're going to take a tour of the facility now. Jeez. With the 43 though? Maybe they have one. So you just, you just said it. And this is yours. It's Christmas time. Sure is the right one. Thank you. You know, you just have to ask. Hey, man. Put them on. There goes the rest of our credit. What do you think? Beauty? Beauty? Oh. Boom. Oh, thank you guys. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Oh, so these are in catalog until yeah. next year. Yeah. Nice. So these are not yet available. So we are thinking. I actually never tried the other one, but it looks pretty good. Yes, this is the best. Uh, the arrow? This one? Yeah. 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 Which is the other one? Uh, no, this is carting. Oh, yeah. oh, this one yeah. feels nice. I can see how this one. I've always used this this same, one, same. but in IndyCar specifically because of the kick, the knockback of the wheel is so rough and hard. Mm -hmm. I've sometimes slip. Perfect. Now watch it. Now, now you can open. Now you Thank can you. open it. Vamos, Felix. <laughs> What a beauty. Yeah. Look at this. Completely customized with the I love this. Italian color and uh, 
Sweden, you like? Sweden, cool, huh? Sweden color. Yes. Like white suit. Huh? And Italian color and Mexico so color, they are quite similar, it. so <laughs> <laughs> we, we cannot run. Like so cool. So yeah, cool. This is mega. Can you, can you show me? Backside? Yeah. And this is, this is, this is already homologated? Yes. yes. And it can, it can be used uh, during this the next races if you, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Is this like a uh, Teflon? Uh, something like that, yes. Uh, totally. You have to keep the vacuum very long to get all the air out. Yes, because uh, when it gets to a, a very, a very um, high compaction, uh, the final air takes a lot of time to travel. Uh, you have uh, to like move it around and stuff? So, uh, to adjust it, yes, uh, because they have to pinch every part and uh, distribute it evenly uh -huh. and uh, avoid bridging any corner. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, the part will not be compacted correctly uh, or the vacuum bag will have a chance to uh, uh, be punctured in the autoclave. Yeah. Once they do, they leave it like this. This, this white material uh, is just this one, so it's uh, a breather material that helps in evacuating all the air from all the mold, but it uh, compacts a lot. It's pretty, pretty cool to see the, you know, the, it's very manual work behind this complex it, it part. It makes you realize how much actual human power it takes to create one of these cars and why they're there's no automation no like you know a machine might help you do some of the process but everything is basically like hand put together handmade hand laid and uh i just gonna show us real quick look at that huh? so this is your style those what you got you know? One. Steering wheel frame. <laughs> That's mega. It's not a record, guys. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. If you want the real one, we have it too. So what this is got? really Pato. cool. We've got a, the, basically the frame of a steering wheel. Uh, a steering wheel. Uh, I like. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yes. These are, these are uh, how they apply the, the stems. And these stems, these are not simple stems because they have to resist to fire. Yeah. So they are, they are, they are homologated also the, the stems and the kind of stems that we are, they are, we are applying. Thanks, wait, please. Um, so you're meeting the guys just for... We're, we're about to go be tourists. The first collection was put in place in 1933 um, and it was uh, an exhibition made in, in, uh, in Milan and that uh, started the National Motor Museum. So the museum was born in 1993. This building was built in 1960 for the anniversary of the unification of Italy. Okay? So uh, this building was created and then refurbished in 2011. So where we are now, it's a building that was reopened after years of refurbishment in 2011. The collection now accounts more or less 220 cars uh, from the end of the 19th century until the future uh, developments and uh, so you will see. It's pretty 
like you can it looks pretty nice to drive. Touch. See the way it's just it's nice. light. Yeah. yeah, vintage. This is surprisingly light. Good visit. Look at some cars, uh, some oh, history. Yeah. Cool. Now we're gonna eat some uh, some pizza. No, no. That's what I do all the time, every day. This is massive. Pizza. Get them lighting. Grazie. Oh, it is. No, but hot. aspettate. No, but margarita pizza. Nom, nom, nom. I would at least put a coke in the golf and get a chef in there. Just the little mushroom mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. comes out. Just uh, waitress. Same as me. Same as Pato. Margareta. <laughs> yeah, I need to break away from the group because uh, the routine on this trip has been like uh, 10 coffee per day and uh, I didn't have one in the last two hours and so now I'm getting a fall and uh, so we go to get one. See, now we, now we take. <laughs> We walk or we take elevator. <laughs> Italia. Where we are? Where we are now? Torino. No. Mole. Tantoleniano. Mole Antoleliano. <laughs> it's impressive, isn't it? How do you build this? Ah. This is Superga, the one that I was mentioning you to, to, to Mark the other day. This is a church, and uh, unfortunately, there uh, during the 60s, at the era, one era. I mean, the amount of things we have, we got to see, and the food we've eaten, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's been great. I mean, it, it's just been really casual. Yeah, it's been really nice. Beautiful city, Sparco. You guys that did yourselves with this trip is really cool. We got to see, I mean, the, the factory, the carbon work. I mean, there's many things that they do that you don't really see the logo of Sparco, um, but it is a lot of a lot of work. Um, it's been really nice. But it was really, really it nice. was impressive to see like everything they do from you know suits and, and the carbon work as Pato mentioned. The attention Ev to detail. I mean, everything is, is like yeah, it's handmade. I mean. It's someone who's been spending a lot of hours on every product, and, and that's something I actually didn't know. And, and uh, it's really easy to say, ah, with the technology that we have now, it's like ah, they do it with machines. Everything is handcrafted, hand stitched, hand done so here in Italy. It is. Yeah. It's pretty phenomenal. Yeah, it's very been, impressive. Uh, eye opening and uh, good fun. Like they. they they have showed us around everything. We've just been passengers on this trip. So uh, yeah, it's been a little vacation as well.